Hey filmmakers, it is Carrie with Filmmaker Central. And today we're going to talk about two things. But the first is the new Filmic Pro with 10-bit VLOG3. So let's get into it when we come right back. So if you use your smartphone for doing video, which a lot of people do, and with the new iPhone 12 X or 12 Max Pro, <laughs> iPhone 12 Max Pro, the cameras on here are terrific. There's some really cool new features in here. The LiDAR can be used with certain apps to do uh, kind of a portrait mode uh, video. So you can get the shallow depth of field, some really cool stuff that you can do with the new phones. Well, the native camera app has never been the best camera app. And so there's other camera apps out there that are extremely good. Moment makes a great camera app. Protake is a great camera app. My personal favorite is Filmic Pro. I think the technology behind Filmic Pro is just vastly superior to the other ones. And it's mostly in their color science. Their log has always been extremely good. Their flat profiles have been good. Well, now they have log V3 and it can work in conjunction with the new iPhones to do 10-bit color. Well, what is 10-bit color? If you're not familiar with that phrase, that describes how many colors the camera can capture. Now, normal, most cameras, not normal, most cameras today can do 8-bit color. Now, that means each color, red, green, and blue, can be represented by 256 shades. Now, if you take 256 shades of blue, red, and green, and you multiply it together, you get about 16.7 million colors. However, with 10-bit color, what that means is each color can be represented by 1,024 different shades. Now, if you take 1,024 of red, green, and blue and multiply that together, you get over a billion colors. That's a huge amount of color information. Now, what th will this do for you? Is there a realistic way that this is used? And the, sh the very short answer is yes, absolutely. And where you will see this is in gradients, like in the sky where it's going from a darker in one section to a brighter in another section. Often with a camera and you take that footage, you'll get banding in the sky. It's very common and you can kind of blur it out and you, you can do some effects to, to minimize it. But if you really pixel peep, you're going to see this banding and things like that. Anytime that you see a big gradient, you have a possibility of banding. There's just not enough colors to make that nice and smooth. Well, with 10-bit color, you get a lot more. So you have a nice smooth gradients in those types of situations. Now with the Log V3 in Filmic Pro, you're getting the most dynamic range possible. So combining a very good dynamic range, which is the difference between your darkest areas and your brightest areas, and 10-bit color, you get some pretty amazing uh, footage. I, I'm actually extremely impressed with what this can do. Now, at the same time, when you output it and you're outputting it to something like YouTube or most types of uh, media, you're going to be outputting it in 8-bit. But if you're starting with 10-bit color, you're going to end up with better looking 8-bit. It's not exactly the same, but conceptually, it's the same as like shooting in 4K and exporting in 1080. You'll get better looking 1080 than had you shot in 1080, right? It's because you have more data that's being put together to create the image. So 10-bit is a huge, huge improvement. Uh, the only other camera I have that, actually I have two cameras that can also do 10-bit, and that's the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Pro and the Autel Evo 2 Pro. 
both of those can do 10-bit log. So um, I'm getting some really good colors in my drone footage and now my smartphone footage. What I don't have is an action camera that can do 10-bit. I don't have a mirrorless camera that can do 10-bit. I have a Sony a7 III. It does 8-bit. So 10-bit is definitely coming. Now the downside to that is, well, think about it. We're using, we're going from uh, 16.7 million colors to over a billion colors. That's a lot more data. So you need more bit rate for it. How much can that write to your memory card? Well, in the case of Filmic Pro, that's around 150 megabits. So now you're talking bigger file sizes. So there's, there's trade-offs. You want more quality, you're going to pay for it in file size. So we're going to come over here into DaVinci Resolve where I've got a few clips that I did uh, yesterday and today to kind of show what this 10-bit color can do for you. This was a scene taken this morning and yeah, there's, there's not much color in here. It's really, really washed out. Let's go ahead and go to the color page and this is going to zoom this out a little bit. Now, Filmic does provide a LUT for it, uh, Filmic D-Log V3. Let's just see what that does. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, wow, look at that. I mean, that just makes this thing pop. Let's kind of look at look before and after there. Now, what I found is I want to. I usually want to increase my midtone details a little bit. I can pump my color up here. Let's bring up some uh, the shadows, and I can really push this footage quite far with the ten bit footage. It just really hangs in there very, very nicely. So again, that's uh, a little before and after there. A pretty remarkable. All right, let's go to uh, the next clip here. Again, this was sunrise shot, and you can see the sun rising in the background, which should generally just destroy this image because of the dynamic range. I mean, we have black underneath the car here with these tires with this bright uh, sun coming up. And again, I'm just going to try their LUT, <laughs> and it is pretty darn remarkable. God, my mouse is just so sensitive. Um, but again, let's let's try a couple things. Let's try bringing up the shadows. And we can hold down those highlights a little bit. Throw in some extra color there. And the image is not falling apart. That's what is really remarkable about this. We're still getting a lot of really good it's just a really good image still even with really blowing this thing uh, up let's let's try boosting the color boost some more okay now I'm starting to see some kind of artifacting and not ah, really little very little let's go I mean, that just, look at the detail that's still left back in there. So, so far, super impressed. But what does it do with skin tones? So when I took this, I didn't realize that it, it, it was looking overexposed. But, I mean, is it? I, it doesn't, you know, looking at the scopes, the scopes aren't all tweaked out. Well, let's just throw the LUD on there again. <laughs> what? What? Check it out. I mean, I I actually tried color grading this uh, shot myself, and I couldn't get it this good. It was, I mean, this is just super, super clean. Again, a couple favorite things to do with the footage is I increase my mid-tone details a little bit. I can still play with the shadows and highlights to get things dialed in, but there's just so much latitude 
in working with these this footage. I mean, looking at the scopes, I'm you know, am I crushing the blacks a little bit? It doesn't look like it. I still see lots of detail in here. This gradient from this light up here is super smooth coming all the way down. But if I uh, kind of pull up my shadows, look at the, look at this the parade. Like even though I'm really kick oh I'm in log. Okay. So maybe that's cheating a little bit. Let's let's go to this the regular color wheels. Okay? So if I start pulling up, you can see I wasn't crushing those blacks there at all. And if I pull down my highlights, I really wasn't crushing, you know, or blowing out my highlights there. It just really does a phenomenal job of expanding your dynamic range and giving you some amazing colors. Uh, went a little too far there. Now, how about low light? Low light is always a pain. So I have this shot here. Again, it's just me. It's You can see how dark it is outside. The only light was my patio light, and I have this brick wall behind me. So I kind of wanted to see what it would do in this particular situation. Now, we look here on the scopes, and it looks like we're crushing the blacks. Well, no kidding, we're crushing the blacks. The blacks are black. I mean, it's really freaking dark out there. But can we pull some of that out? No, right? It's underexposed in the the blackest of the blacks back there. There's really not much we're going to be able to do about that. Let's throw the LUD on there. I mean, it doesn't even it doesn't even look like the same footage. It's just so clean and the colors are so nice. The skin tones are dead on. This brick looks great. And let's still let's let's you know, let's try pumping it up a little bit. It's really going to pull in those reds. But if I pull in, you know, some gamma and uh, bring up the lift, I'm not going to pull up any detail from that background. I mean, it's just too dark back there, but the skin tones here look really, really nice. Now you can put them kind of back to where that LUT put them. Again, you know, if I wanted to throw just a tiny amount of color boost on there, increase my mid-tone detail a little bit, yeah, I, I can get maybe a little bit, you know, uh, more of what I'm looking for out of it, but that's okay. I, I would rather increase some of that sharpening in post than have it be too sharp coming in uh, to my editor where I really have to manipulate it a lot. So I'm not a big fan of doing so much of that uh, in camera. I'd rather do it in post. So that is the new Filmic Pro with 10-bit log. Very excited about it. Now they, they do have a bunch of other features. Uh, they've got, it supports the uh, Dolby Vision 10-bit, but that is a very limiting uh, codec. The, the problem there is you can only display that footage on something that supports Dolby Vision. Well, the new iPhones do. So what? If I can't just upload that to somewhere and have people watch it, it's kind of pointless. So I, I'm not a huge fan of the Dolby Vision. I'm going to stick to the log. It is just freaking dialed. And with their LUT, it gets me so close to where I want. I don't have to do a lot of other work to it while giving me an expanded dynamic range that I'm not going to get from other camera apps today, and especially from the built-in camera app. So if you are into shooting with your smartphone and you have one of the new iPhone 12s that can support 10-bit color, I highly recommend you check out Filmic Pro. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Facebook uh, with on Filmmaker Central. We have a Facebook group over there. Lots of interesting things going on. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.